this is my old barn, and I needed to put a lean-to on the side of it. And I thought, well, it'd be kind of fun to do a time lapse of that and see how it comes out. So this is the results of how that came out. Now it's going to start. The five posts are already in place, right across the front, right there. And this is just me uh, cutting them all off to length. You can see me measure in there. I took a uh, uh, a laser level and shot a mark on each one of them. And then I knew to raise it, I think it was 50 something inches or something like that, each one to get over to the exact uh, level spot. You can see me using that tractor um, as a platform to work off of. It made it just, that was really great um, to have that nice, safe platform uh, to work on. But after I got that, the laser uh, level, then I drove a nail in there so I can just reach down with a tape measure, grab it, uh, and mark that level. This is the last post that we're going to cut off. And the next thing I've got to do is take a chalk line and I'm going to snap a line across the front uh, to give me a nice straight line for my board that goes across the front. Now, uh, what I should have done when I set these posts was to set each corner and then stretch a string and then match the post to that string so that I got them um, in an exact straight line. But that's not what I did. I just leveled each one and Got them a little bit out of level when they're this long. That's kind of easy to do. And you'll see on this post right here, I wind up having to cut about half the post away in order to get it uh, in a straight line. See, about half that post is gone. But anyway, it worked out uh, just fine. This is the last one we're going to do. In the next uh, frame we're going to come to, you'll see that suddenly, there it is, the roof rafters are up. And when I, this first time I've done a time lapse, and I didn't realize my camera after 30 minutes, it just turns off. So. <laughs> Uh, I missed a lot of this, and what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring to see uh, how long the 2x4s need to go. They're going to stretch between these uh, roof rafters to hold the sheet metal up. <clears throat> so, just getting those cut right there, getting them uh, stacked, and then I realize, uh, let's say I bring those in, and then I realize that if I had some longer boards, uh, I could make more economical cuts. So I went up to the house and got some different boards, and I'm getting the rest of them cut right there. All the, all the 2x4s are now done. Now I'm stretching a uh, chalk line so that I can get all the 2x4s in a straight line. If you do that, it's a whole lot easier to get your sheet metal on. Um, and then what you're seeing, witnessing here is the joys of working alone, where you're uh, up a ladder on one side, running over to the other side, up and down, up and down, up and down. But just getting this uh, chalk line snapped. I can get about two snaps and then I have to roll it up. Uh, and re-chalk the line, otherwise it won't leave a uh, good enough mark. And I had to do, I think, five uh, different lines. Got one more to do, and that's it. And then we'll get the tractor in position to start getting those first two by fours in place. And here we go. Now, if you're doing a job like this by yourself, uh, you can take that 2x4 and put a nail in the end sticking out so that it'll rest on that other uh, roof rafter and not fall while you're trying to nail one side and then you just go around, pull the nail, line it line it up, and uh, get it in. I don't know if that makes any sense to you or not, but that's how I uh, did that. Using a air nailer makes life a lot simpler when you're getting old like me. Don't worry, we're not going to put all these in at this speed. It'll uh, get going a whole lot faster here in just a second. You know, when we do the same things over and over again, I get kind of bored and have to speed it up. There we go. It's kind of fun to watch them go in this fast, though. I wish the real thing had gone this fast. That would have been great. Got to get one more row across the front. And then that'll have it. Okay, now it's time for the sheet metal. Sheet metal is 16 feet long. 29 gauge. I'm pulling it up and getting ready to screw that first one down. Just getting it lined up. You want to get it nice and square, everything straight, because all of your other uh, pieces are going to key off of uh, this same piece. It's a beautiful day to be working. Actually, it took me the better part of two days uh, to get this done. One to get all the posts put in there, and then the next day I got the roof 
all put on. Got the roof rafters, all that, and the, uh, the metal put on. First day I had to go get all the materials and drill holes and get the posts put in and all that stuff. So it took me two days to kind of complete the thing. Now the, <clears throat> the next thing we're going to come to is just a picture of the finished barn here in a pretty quick. And there it is. That's the finished uh, lean-to that's on there. Hope you enjoyed this video as usual. Thank you for watching.